We all know our Colorado's population growth has added more traffic on our roads, but there's also more people out on our hiking trails and in our mountains. That also means more calls for search and rescue. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski shows us how teams across the state are now using eyes in the sky to get to those rescues faster. This is what our Colorado is all about. Enjoying nature, riding the trails, and drones. This is a kind of a rather large drone. These eyes in the sky. It's got six batteries, six props, six motors. Are a game changer for the Douglas County Search and Rescue Team. It gives us an untapped capability that we've never had before. You just hit record. Morse Hansen is the lead pilot. He says with our Colorado's rapid growth, they're seeing more rescue calls. And with limited resources on a volunteer-only team. Searching on the ground is, is, can be challenging, takes a lot of resources. They're now using drones to better deploy those resources, flying into difficult terrain to scope out the best routes and cover more ground faster. Platforms like the M600 behind me have the payload capacity so we could actually carry blankets, food. We could carry a radio to them so now we can communicate with them. The video streams back live to their command post. It allows other searchers at the same time to look at it. Then add in new thermal technology like this. Notice the guy hiding under the tree at the bottom of the screen. The thermal imaging is probably the game changer because at night everything becomes much more challenging. Not only do they use this tool to locate lost hikers like me, they also use it to find out where they're not. That way they can send resources to the right place and make rescues happen quicker. Ruling out an area so you don't have to go cover it with limited resources is just as valuable as covering an area. This past June, Douglas County rescuers used a drone to find these two lost hikers and their dog on Devil's Head. Without flying this robot, Hansen says the search likely would have taken rescue volunteers all night. The drone actually did was allow us to confirm that they're there and then also saw that they had a dog. Fremont Search and Rescue, Mountain Rescue Aspen, and Summit County Rescue Group are all using drones to increase their chances of getting to lost adventurers before the elements do. I don't see this as where we're at today as, as the end game. It's just the beginning of all this technology. In Douglas County, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7.